Frontiers Media SA is an academic publisher of peer-reviewed open access scientific journals currently active in science, technology, and medicine. It was founded in 2007 by a group of neuroscientists, including Henry and Camilla Markram, and later expanded to other academic fields. Frontiers is based in Lausanne, Switzerland. Frontiers Media was, controversially, included in Jeffrey Beale's list of potential predatory open access publishers and has been accused of using email spam. The publisher has, "...a history of badly handled and controversial retractions and publishing decisions." Nevertheless, both COPE and OASPA have retained Frontiers as members after concerns were raised. History The first journal published was Frontiers in Neuroscience, which opened for submission as a beta version in 2007. In 2010, Frontiers launched a series of another 11 journals in medicine and science. In February 2012, the Frontiers Research Network was launched, a social networking platform for researchers, intended to disseminate the open access articles published in the Frontiers journals, and to provide related conferences, blogs, news, video lectures, and job postings. In February 2013, the Nature Publishing Group (NPG) acquired a controlling interest in Frontiers Media. NPG is a subsidiary of Holtzbrink Publishing Group. Frontiers for Young Minds was launched in November 2013 during the annual meeting of the Society for Neuroscience in collaboration with NPG as a web-based science journal that involves young people in the review of scientific articles with the help of scientists who act as mentors. In early September 2014, Frontiers received the ALPSP Gold Award for Innovation in Publishing from the Association of Learned and Professional Society Publishers. Topic. List of journals The Frontiers journals use open peer review, where the names of reviewers of accepted articles are made public. As of 2015, 16 of their journals had impact factors, a number that grew to 24 in 2017. In February 2016, the series contained 54 journals, a number that grew to 59 by 2017. The collection of all the journals in the series is sometimes considered a megajournal, as is the Biomed Central series. Some journals, such as Frontiers in Human Neuroscience or Frontiers in Microbiology are considered megajournals on their own. Controversies <inaudible> 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 In April 2013, Frontiers in Psychology retracted a controversial article linking climate change denialism and conspiracist ideation. The retraction was itself also controversial and led to the resignations of at least three editors. In November 2013, an article in Cielo reported a rejection rate of 20% of manuscripts, compared to Nature, which rejected 90% of them, but also noted that Frontiers in Pharmacology of Anti Cancer Drugs did not fall for the 2013 science sting. In late September, Frontiers in Public Health published a controversial article that supported HIV denialism. Three days later, the publisher issued a statement of concern and announced an investigation into the review process of the article. It was eventually decided that the article would not be retracted but instead was reclassified as an opinion piece. Around November 2014 the collaboration between NPG and Frontiers quietly ended when the two groups made the decision to make a clean separation and never to mention again that Nature Publishing Group has some kind of involvement in Frontiers. In May 2015, Frontiers Media removed the entire editorial boards of Frontiers in Medicine and Frontiers in Cardiovascular Medicine after editors complained that Frontiers Media staff were interfering with editorial decisions and violating core principles of medical publishing. In October 2015, Frontiers was added to Jeffrey Beale's list of potential, possible, or probable predatory open access publishers. The inclusion was met with backlash amongst some researchers. 
In July 2016, Beale recommended that academics not publish their work in Frontiers journals, stating, The fringe science published in Frontiers journals stigmatizes the honest research submitted and published there. And in October of that year, Beale reported that reviewers have called the review process, merely for show. In October 2015, Frontiers in collaboration with NPG launched Loop, a research network that is open to be integrated into any publisher's or academic organization's website, and Loop soon included a collaboration with ORCID to link and synchronize researcher profile information. The Technical University of Madrid was the first university to link their Loop profile to their institutional website. Also in October 2015 the Committee on Publication Ethics COPE said that, "...there have been vigorous discussions about, and some editors are uncomfortable with, the editorial processes at Frontiers," but that, "...the processes are declared clearly on the publisher's site and we do not believe there is any attempt to deceive either editors or authors about these processes." Frontiers is a COPE member and one of its employees sits on COPE's council. In September 2016, Frontiers demanded that the university where Beale worked force him to retract his claims. In November 2016, a paper linking vaccines to autism was retracted from a Frontiers journal. Also in November 2016, a study published analyzing predatory publishing by gathering datasets with and without Frontiers journals. In 2017, further editors were removed, allegedly for their rejection rate being high. A study published in A Life in November 2017 showed that, women are underrepresented in the peer review process, and that, editors of both genders operate with substantial same gender preference. In December 2017 Adam Marcus and Ivan Orinsky wrote in the magazine Nautilus that the acceptance rate of manuscripts in Frontiers journals was near 90%. According to Allison and James Kaufman in the 2018 book Pseudoscience, the conspiracy against science, "...Frontiers has used an in-house journals management software that does not give reviewers the option to recommend the rejection of manuscripts." and that the system is set up to make it almost impossible to reject papers. <laughs> 